the advent of the pill meant that it suddenly became so much more difficult to say no to men because what you used to be able to say was, no, 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 we can't because I might get pregnant. When I first watched this, it kind of alarmed me because if I was engaging with a woman that was on birth control and she still said no to me, there was no part of me that thought, well, I could try and convince her because she's on birth control. And what we're dealing with here, of course, is the agreeability gap between men and women. Women find it difficult to be assertive. With that in mind, to take into consideration that maybe some women may find it difficult to be assertive, it's when I decided to abandon the assumption that, well, women can say no whenever they want to. Because while you may think that she can say no to you, does she know that? And if they can't call on that kind of very clear risk as an appeal. And what is the optimal solution for this is be able to create a space and an environment for the woman that you're engaging with to feel comfortable and safe to tell you no. Because taking everything into consideration, I would argue that providing that for her is just as important as getting her consent and her saying yes. Then what are they left with? No, I just don't want to have sex with you. And if you don't want to, irrespective of who it is, is very valid as well. And that's a really painful thing to say, that it wouldn't hurt feelings. I'm not going to sit here and say that it might not hurt your feelings, but you got to learn how to deal with it and process it. That doesn't involve projecting that potential hurt back on the woman you're engaging with. And certainly don't go down the route to try and persuade them to change their mind. Because i got to ask, do you really want to pursue this with a woman who isn't enthusiastically wanting to pursue it with you? It's also, I think, an element of women being slightly physically frightened. Right. You've also got to take that in consideration that she she may be terrified to reject you. Which could come from her past experiences engaging with men she rejected who handled it poorly. And even though you might be thinking she's got nothing to be terrified about, you still need to be able to communicate and showcase to her that she's got nothing to fear about saying no to you. The problem that women have in saying no once they're on the pill is that it's instantly personal. It doesn't have to be. You can choose to not make it personal. And that means the woman has to deliver a pretty hard blow. And describing it in this manner is just going to potentially create more unnecessary anxiety and pressure for the woman. And that's especially problematic if she's somewhat potentially interested in the guy. Well, I would hope if you're not ready to and he cares about you, he would respect your boundaries. How do I say no without hurting his feelings, alienating him, making him into an enemy, looking like a prude? If this is what women are thinking, I just think, what can I do to alleviate these thoughts and concerns that you have? If this is such a burning fire in your mind, what can I do to help extinguish it? I guess it's all in the communication, but to put it simply, for me, if she doesn't want to do it, then I don't want to do it. And I want nothing more for you to be able to be comfortable to communicate that to me. I want to end this with a recent video by Barrett Paul and where he highlights a comment that he got. Be the guy that's easy to say no to. Understand that just about anyone who isn't a man has been given ample reason to think that telling men yes is often the safest response. Then understand that no matter how much you think you can empathize with that, there is so much more to it than you can realize. Learning that a no from someone is a gift. They're helping you respect their boundaries and it helps you trust that when they say yes, it's genuine. No deserves gratitude.